is both sides to the power 25. That would take forever, wouldn't it? So there's an easier way to do it. You could square both sides, cube both sides, and then try to build up to 25th power. But again, that's going to take too long. There's a much better way to do it. Let's just go ahead and multiply everything by x and use the power of x squared. What does that mean? It means that for all powers that are coming up, you can replace x squared with x minus 1. For example, if you multiply both sides by x, you're going to get x cubed, which is x squared minus x. Wait a minute. x squared is x minus 1. So this is x minus 1 minus x, which means x cubed is equal to negative 1. Wow. We're talking about cube roots of negative 1 in the complex world, right? So now this is easy because 25th power can basically be written uh, using the third power. Let's go ahead and do that now. That's what we're going to need. So let's do this. Let's take x to the third power and then raise it to the power 8, right? And then we're going to multiply by x. And then do the same thing here. Remember that x to the third power is negative 1. So this is going to be negative 1 to the eighth power, which is 1. And then that's going to give us x and plus 1 over x. But wait a minute. Isn't that equal to 1 already? Yes. So the answer would be 1. And that's it.